Hi, my name is Saul Rosenbaum. I'm a licensed professional engineer, and I've been working in the energy efficiency world for the past 18 years. I'm currently the director of green and energy services for a due diligence inspection company. What pulled me into the field initially was not this desire for sustainability or environmental work that often pulls a lot of people into this field. I really did not know a lot about it, and I went to work for that first company more from the mechanical design side of things, and that was what I was expecting. However, all of their projects worked within the energy efficiency space so that we were designing an HVAC system or working on the HVAC controls within the scope of saving energy. And that really brought me into the energy efficiency world. And I've been in that since that time, like I said, approximately 18 years ago. So my first memories of the uh, green space are really finding out about this world that I did not know existed. It was not something I was exposed to during my undergraduate and graduate studies in university. Um, on a daily basis, at that initially I should say, on a daily basis I was climbing through mechanical rooms, I was working on calculations, I was then working on the reports and also following the projects straight through the construction and the project development. And that really helped expose me to every part of the project. I think that was very important to my career. Currently, my daily tasks involve overseeing the engineering team that works on these types of projects. So I give them technical guidance and help them through various problems. I'll also work with some of the field guys who are collecting data, helping them understand what needs to be collected and why it needs to be collected. And I think that's very important because it helps them understand why we need something. So if it's not readily available, they can help get other information. I also work on the business and marketing side of these projects and working to help our clients generally through green loan programs, which is the reason why they are getting this energy audit to begin with. Um, one of my favorite things really is being able to get out into the field and climb through mechanical rooms. I do, honestly don't do it as often as I used to, but I find that especially for younger engineers, getting out there and really seeing the installation, understanding it, talking to the maintenance guys, talking to the installation guys, yeah. really gives you a different perspective on your engineering work and will help you when you are doing the design because you'll have sort of that forward uh, thought of, well, how is somebody gonna maintain this equipment? How is somebody gonna access this equipment? And it will help you become a better engineer overall. I think one of the things that really helped me get to where I am is the fact that I had amazing bosses, I had amazing supervisors and guidance from them that instead of just you know spoon feeding me a lot of the answers, they would make me work for it and understand the concepts, understand the variables that were in play. And this is something that I'm really appreciative of and I know that I would not be where I am in my career were it not for that guidance, were it not for that mentoring that I received from them. And this is part of the reason why I pay it forward and I've created a website as well for mentoring material to help the next generation of younger engineers so that they can have some of the success that I've had in my career. And so I, I guess my, my advice for anybody who wants to enter this industry, there are a lot of options. Um, I personally work in the energy efficiency area, and this is something that really combines hardcore mechanical engineering, civil engineering with the energy side of things. To me, you know, getting a job with a smaller company is really crucial initially because you can see the bigger picture. You'll be involved in a lot more of the nitty gritty of the projects as opposed to only working on one small area. However, the downside of that is often you will not be involved in these really large projects or very large infrastructure projects, perhaps also research-based projects that you can be for a larger company. So certainly look for what fits best for you, but also try to find a senior engineer who can really help give you some of that guidance, who can help you on your path. There is no one path that works for everybody. And so if you keep your options open, if you keep developing your skills, you'll have that career mobility, and then you can really choose the option that's best for you. 
if anybody wants to hear additional um, information, you have questions about my career or questions about how you should proceed, I'm very active on LinkedIn. I'm happy to connect with you and offer you my guidance. Thank you.